Greetings everyone, this is your boy Curtis, aka Dr. C, checking in with you with another health video. Today I'll be talking about make you psycho drugs. Yes, make you psycho drugs. Uh, today uh, the rates of people taking antidepressants uh, and psychotropic drugs is just totally ridiculous. It's, it's highly alarming. Uh, and you know, and according to research, uh, most of these so-called disorders in which people are giving these drugs for have there's no science behind any of them. You know, the doctors and you know pharmaceutical companies are just you know creating these in disorders out of thin air and promoting them on these you know televisions or televisions, and then they are, they are inventing very harmful drugs uh, for these particular disorders. And basically, you know, you're dealing with a fraud disease that has no science behind it. You know. You know, basically, when you hear about a disease that you know is called a disorder, so when you hear about social anxiety disorder, you hear about uh, you know a depressive disorder, bipolar disorder, all these disorders, there is no science behind any of them, according to psychiatrists now. You know, the psychiatrists were asked, you know, is there any science behind them? Can you really test for them? And they say no. There was actually a doctor who was speaking at a government panel dealing with uh, ADD, and he basically took him 30 minutes to describe um, some of the based to describe the, some of the symptoms of ADD and how it could be diagnosed and it took him, you know, he was fumbling and mumbling and that let me know that, you know, these diseases are complete and total hoaxes and they are definitely coming for our children with these particular uh, antidepressants and psychotropic drugs with the Ritalin. Uh, my experience with Ritalin, I went to a, a private Catholic high school, one of the top schools in the country when I was in high school and uh, they were selling Ritalin like it was a legal street drug, $20 a pill. You know, and I just wonder, well, hey, you know, this is supposed to be medicine here. Why are they selling this like it's an illegal street drug? Now it makes total sense. Ritalin is essentially speed. And as I mentioned earlier, you know, this, um, you know, basically the experience of being a child uh, and children, you know, being, you know, just, you know, in tune, you know, with, you know, being tuned with themselves and being fun and jovial, which, you know, many adulterated people or adults have completely lost by being in the matrix here and being stressed out and negative and watching the news and you know eating processed foods and all other stuff, you know they're just they're just not they're just not happy anymore. But children, you know, they still have that uh, enthusiasm, which actually means to be in the spirit of God in them. So that experience right there has been turned into a disorder that we have to drug and give people essentially give children essentially speed, which uh, you know basically has basically been giving uh, children all across the country heart attacks and all other types of heart disorders. You have to give them this very harmful drug, you know, makes them irritable and all these other things under the guise of, you know, them being a child. Totally ass backwards in my opinion. Um, but that's just one of the drugs. These SSRI drugs are even worse. These are probably some of the most harmful and dangerous drugs to the public safety of Americans. On These are probably some of the most dangerous and harmful drugs to the public safety of the people who are taking them and Americans as a whole because every incident of people committing just random acts of violence and when I mean random like just completely random killing their babies, killing their killing themselves, killing their schoolmates these people have been on some type of SSRI drugs uh, which basically you know they are selective serotonin uh, intake uh, inhibitors I believe I, I could be wrong but you know but essentially they're you know the main drugs that are being prescribed or are known as SSRI drugs are Zoloft uh, Lubox, uh, Lexapro, uh, Prozac, and Seraphin. And Prozac and Seraphin are essentially the same things. But these particular drugs here, highly, highly toxic. Uh, has been, you know, they have almost, almost 20 or more side effects, which include uh, impotence for all you men out there, you know, who are looking to get your groove on. Hey, you know, you want to, you want to get your groove off. You know, take some SSRI drugs. Uh, it's been, it's been known that people, pregnant women who take SSRI drugs, it can actually harm a developing fetus. And, and the whole premise of these drugs is based upon the faulty theory that, you know, somehow when you're depressed or you have social ang anxiety disorder, you know, two, dis two disorders which are completely no science behind any of them, you know, it has something to do with your serotonin levels. When, you know, it's been noted that serotonin is actually, can, you know, particularly when it's taken synthetically, can be a toxic, can be a toxic substance. So these SSRI drugs are very, very harmful. And the, the Columbine massacres, people, those kids are on SSRI drugs. It's believed that the people, it's believed that the guy who committed the Virginia Tech shootings, SSRI drugs. Kip Kinkler, he was actually withdrawing from Prozac because these drugs are highly, highly addictive, which uh, the pharmaceutical companies and the drug and FDA has uh, very much suppressed or minimized uh, some of the addictive qualities of these drugs. I mean, people oftentimes have 
uh, side effects or experience different health um, health ailments when they haven't been taking the drugs for a few days, uh, or they're getting off the drugs or trying to get weaned off the drugs because these particular drugs are highly highly toxic. So, uh, you know, and, and as I mentioned earlier, uh, these the, you know these particular SSRI drugs, um, you know, the, you know they're, they're they're given for diseases which are you know as I mentioned complete hoaxes. And uh, many, and many of these disorders, you know, you know, can be, um, you know, first of all, most of them don't even exist. Second of all, you know, as I mentioned, they're just, you know, different experiences of life. You know, people oftentimes experience ups and downs. You know, they experience depression uh, when a family dies or due to a loss of job. You know, but you know, when you go to a doctor, you know, you spend five minutes at a doctor's office. You know, they write you out a drug, and you know, within, you know, within two hours, these people are, you know, are thinking about committing suicide or, or they're just straight up homicidal. Uh, fifty percent of the fifty percent of people who commit suicide in this country were on SSRI drugs. So I'm telling you all, these drugs are just mind-altering drugs. Have been probably used for a long time now here in the USA. Um, you know, with CIA experiments. You know, Jim Jones, Guyana. You know, him down there in South America. You giving those people mind-altering drugs. These drugs are straight poisons, people. And if you want to make yourself psycho, take SSRI drugs, or better yet, uh, give your children Ritalin you know, to dumb them down and, you know, and to, to turn them into a complete and utter zombie. And as far as depression, you know, that's primarily a mental disorder. Uh, it, it, can, it can be caused by a variety of factors, but essentially, you know, there's no need for all these different uh, harmful uh, drugs that people are taking under the illusion of uh, depression, which oftentimes make the depression worse. So I will be doing a teleseminar on this, which gives all this information on how to overcome depression naturally, something I've experienced twice in my life and you know I just overcame it without drugs or therapy and uh, I will share with you in this teleseminar a very special mind body medicinal, medicinal technique which has been used in traditional Chinese medicine for over 5,000 years which can revol resolve depression in over you know in less in, in minutes or in less than a day sometimes um, it's, it, it's a it's a completely miraculous technique uh, it just you know it's like an acupressure technique uh, so, you know, it's and it's no gimmick, it, it actually does work. Uh, but there are other ways to naturally and easily and safely resolve a depression and all, up to other, all types of mental disorders without the uses of these very uh, toxic and harmful SSRI drugs, which, as I mentioned, are probably the most harmful drugs out there, probably right along up there with chemotherapy, uh, that which are just being given left and right to people. You know, and, you know, and FDA is not disclosing all the, all the harms of it, and and by and oftentimes they only mention about one to ten percent of the side effects and even le even less of the deaths that occur from them. But it's been noted, you know, twenty thousand or more people die from these every month, or it could be every year, die from these particular antidepressants and SSRI drugs. So these drugs are just straight toxic, y'all. So as I mentioned, you know, you can check out get more information on my depression uh, overcoming depression tell seminar at the video video description. Uh, up there to your upper right, and uh, you can also email me, C-U-R-T-I-S-L underscore D-U-N-C-A at yahoo.com, and this is your boy Curtis, Dr. C, checking in with you, but hey, like I said, essentially, if you want to make yourself crazy, take SSRI drugs. Alright, y'all, that's enough, that's me, that's all I have to say for today, peace.